welcome to the Makerspace and Entrepreneur Center at Harper College, where your biggest, boldest, and coolest ideas come to life. My name is Jeff Moy, I'll be your tour guide today. We'll talk a little bit about our space and our mission, and then we'll go check out our equipment. So our space is one part Makerspace, one part Business Incubator, and one part Coworking, where we provide you with the tools, the knowledge, and the community to inspire you to take that idea that's locked up in your head and bring it into physical reality. We're gonna go over today in a broad overview of the equipment we have here, and then we're gonna take a deep dive into our three most popular pieces of tools. Let's check it out. Okay, there's a lot of reasons why people come to our inspirational space. We have tools all the way from beginner level tools that you'd maybe find at a library, but really easy to use and really fun to use, to the tools that are used in industry, the commercial tools that cost many tens of thousands of dollars. This way you can take your idea and start with it and then take it to production. What we're gonna to do today is we're gonna talk about three of our most popular technologies. First technology, most people are probably pretty surprised when they, when they find out what it is. Because our number one most popular technology is specialty printing. Specialty printing has been the most popular technology in our space because you can get professional results with not a lot of learning curve. So let me show you how it works and a little bit about what we do with it. So our, our most popular tool today is something called dye sublimation printing. So what we do is we print on a big printer back there, a commercial grade dye sublimation printer, and then we use heat to transfer that image onto polyesters. So for example, we use it to do stuff like this. We take and we transfer your artwork, which could be photographic quality, onto polyester fabric. And it's so easy to use, I took a picture off of my phone and put my daughter's dog onto a piece of polyester in five minutes. So you can do that too. But the real cool thing about it is that you don't just have to do t-shirts and things, but what you could do is that you could actually take and put pictures, photographic pictures, onto all different types of materials. For example, this material is aluminum. So we can get a real photograph onto a piece of aluminum. These are the same types of pictures, professional quality level, that you see in those expensive office buildings. And the, the big question I always get is that, well, does it rub off? Well, let me show you. I've probably done that 200 times. I think it looks pretty good still. <laughs> it shows a little bit of wear, but the, but the technology, it doesn't print on top of it. It bonds it to the material itself and makes it a part of it, so it doesn't come off. And because people are able to do this nice technology, we're able to make things like bag tags, coasters, and even round objects like coffee mugs. So this technology is so approachable that we use it for our events. In one session, we can get our middle schoolers to be able to make something really cool. And we usually do socks. And people love these socks. And these take just one session of about three hours and, and we have custom socks. Then we also have regular wide format inkjet printers, and we're gonna be getting another new really cool printer. That's called UV LED printer. That'll be in next semester. This printer allows us to print on just about any surface. Things like metal, 
wood, plastic, and even fabrics. So with this printer, you can do a lot of really cool things. Like for example, these are phone cases that we printed on. And if you could only feel it, you'd be able to tell that this is textured just like a basketball. So you can make it just like a basketball or feel just like an oil painting, for example, on a piece of aluminum. You could print on the front and the back. You could do all sorts of cool effects. Specialty printing, this is our most popular technology. What major do you think is the most popular in our makerspace? Is it engineering? Is it science? No. The number one most popular major in our makerspace is for fashion students. They're the most passionate and creative people that I've ever met. So our space not only appeals to people who are engineers and, and scientists, but people from all walks of life and anywhere they need a, a way and a creative outlet and help to bring their ideas to life. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to introduce you to Wyatt, one of our student aides, and he'll be helping us with our demos today. Hello, as Mr. Moy said, my name is Wyatt. I am a sophomore here at Harper College, and I really enjoy it here at the college. I am studying accounting and will probably be transferring out next year, but I have had such a great time my first two years here at Harper. The Harper Makerspace is such a great place for people who are, you know, love entrepreneurship because it gives you so much access to different machines and capabilities that you would never be able to afford buying them all on your own. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of the machines here at the Makerspace. One of my personal favorites is the Graphtech CE60 and it is such a great machine for cutting a large amount of vinyl and we'll just showcase it real quick for all of you. The Graphtech is extremely quick and efficient at cutting out vinyl. It cuts about 40 times the pace of your normal Cricut and is an absolutely amazing machine for anyone who wants to be making t-shirts or other textiles here at the Makerspace. All right, so once you're done cutting, you'll have all the logos or whatever you wanted to make. And then you can just add them to either mugs or t-shirts and create a near endless amount of different textiles and other paper products. So we have Harper mug and our Harper t-shirt. Now let's move on to our second most popular technology, which is laser cutting and engraving. Welcome to the Harper Makerspace here in our laser cutting room. I'm going to be showing you guys how we created your puzzles. So you guys will all have in your kits these little puzzles right here. They actually come from a piece of cardboard uncut at first. And then we use our machine right here, the Universal Laser Systems laser cutter. And we cut them in to the drafts that you guys will all be creating. So I'll show you guys a little bit of how we created your drafts here today. All right, so we've already written the code. We've done this a few hundred times already. So we're just going to place in our piece of cardboard, which is already in, make sure that the machine is focused, and then just press this green button here, and we let the laser cutter go. a nice new cut puzzle. Have fun making your guys' drafts and make sure to come in and make something on the laser cutter yourself. Okay, let's talk about our number two most popular technology in the makerspace. So the way a laser cutter and engraver works, it works like a laser pointer controlled by a computer. So it goes around and it cuts things in two dimensions. So you can cut and you can burn away material to make it 
look darker. That's called engraving. So we could do things like this, where we cut things out and we darken it and make this coaster, for example. And we can use it to make all this, it's used it to make a lot of awards and promotional items in industry right now. So we did it for doing things like this, which is an award made on plastic, acrylic, but it, and we also made things like phone stands and badges, all sorts of really cool stuff like that. You can even do it on granite. Now, one thing that people always say is that this is kind of boring if you only can do things in two dimensions and only flat, but flat is not equal to boring. With a little bit of ingenuity and a little bit of elbow grease, you can take something flat and put it together and make something cool, like this. And we teach you how to do those types of things. Because everything starts from a basic box. You start here, and then we teach you how to do that. And you can learn maybe someday how to make a Millennium Falcon. In our makerspace, we're not limited by just cutting flat things. We could also engrave things like glassware, coffee tumblers. You can do a lot of different round types of objects. And there's kind of an interesting story too about this. We had a, a PPE project where we built 11,000 face shields for our first line heroes and our students. And from that, we again ended up with a lot of 3D printed boxes. So we took, the, we took those boxes, and I hate throwing things in landfills, so what do we do? We made giraffes. So that's laser cutting and engraving. We'll move on to our next one, which is what most people think about when they think about a makerspace, which is 3D printing. Let's talk about everybody's favorite topic, 3D printing. This is the technology that most people think about when they think about a makerspace. And boy, do we have 3D printing. In our center, you can find the beginner type printers that you would find in a library or a school, all the way up to the industrial 3D printers that cost tens of thousands of dollars that are used in research laboratories all around the world. We're doing that to support our new additive manufacturing certificate program to teach people 21st century skills in manufacturing. So let's talk about how it works. So for a 3D printer, at least the, most of the ones that we have here, works just like a hot glue gun, where you take and you squeeze out glue into a shape onto a bed. And then it uses a computer to control it, and then raises it up, and then makes another layer, and then another layer, and another layer, until you have a three-dimensional object, like this. So this is made up of a bunch of different layers of melted plastic, just like a, using a computer-controlled hot glue gun. But we have a lot more 3D printers than just those types, too. We have ones that are called resin printers. What those allow you to do is to, to make things that look just as if they were manufactured in a injection-molded factory. You can do things like bacteria molds. You can do clear plastic. You can do all sorts of things that will look as if it was produced in a manufacturing line. And not only do we do things in those two, resin printing and regular 3D printing, which we call FFF printing, but we could also print a lot of different types of materials. For example, rubber-like materials. We do, we do, we teach a class on making your own phone case here. And what you can do with a lot of 3D printers that here that you can't do in other places is that we could print in color. So by printing in color, it allows you to really capture the full effect of 3D printing. So 3D printing is uh, itself a cool technology as well as laser cutting and all the ones we talked about. But when you combine them all, you can get really neat results. So for example, we did a lot of things for production. We mentioned our PPE project earlier. So here's an example of one of them. This is a face shield. We use our 3D printer to print the band and we use our laser cutter to cut the visor. And we did parts or face shields for 11,000 people to help protect them against the, the COVID pandemic. 
and take a look over here. This is a little bit of uh, the aftermath of our project, where we went through quite a few rolls of uh, 3D printer filament. We also have other projects, too, where we put our tools to use. One of them is our organization we created called Harper's Helping Hands. With Harper's Helping Hands, what we do is we produce prosthetics, both hands and arms, to deliver to disadvantaged people all around the world. We use our 3D printers and we print parts like these that we're currently printing. And then we use it to make hands and arms to send, to send around the world. These current ones are being sent to people in Honduras. And we also have sent prosthetic hands and arms to people in India, Pakistan, Spain, and all around the world. So please come on back sometime and learn more about what we do. Learn more about our tools, take a class, come to one of our events, have a lot of fun, and hope we'll inspire you to be the best you, you can be.